This is a very good signing for the Reds. Jared Hughes has been one of baseball's best relievers the last four seasons. 273 games, that's 10th most in the majors. That he would get a two-year deal with a third-year option tells you what position has dominated this free agent market. It's a really smart signing. The Reds got better on Tuesday. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Reds have signed right-handed reliever Jared Hughes to a two-year deal. The club announced Tuesday the deal is worth $2.125 million for both 2018 and 19, with a $3 million option for 2020. Hughes joins his third NL Central team after six seasons with the Pirates and last season with Milwaukee, where the 32-year-old went 5-3 and three with a 3.02 ERA and 59 and two-thirds innings pitched. Another reliever has inked a deal with a new team. 34-year-old lefty Zach Duke is heading to the Twins on a one-year contract. Duke went 1-1 one one last season with the Cardinals, notching a 3.93 ERA and 18 and a third innings pitched. Meanwhile, Ichiro isn't calling it quits quite yet. The 44-year-old wants to play another season after the Marlins declined a $2 million club option on his contract. He started 22 games in 2017 and came off the bench 114 times, hitting 255 and 215 plate appearances. Ichiro is a member of the 3,000 hit club and a 17-time Major League All-Star. Ichiro's made it clear he likes to play at least until he's 50, whether that's in the American League, you know, it could be a, on a rebuild. I think the way Ichiro uh, feels, uh, if there's a team that truly wants him and it seems like a good opportunity, he has already shown he's accepting a backup role, a reduced role, so I think he'd be agreeable to that. But here's a guy who clearly wants to go out on his own terms. And, you know, his love is to really play baseball. ZC Sabathia formally signed a one-year $10 million contract to return to the Yankees on Tuesday. The 37-year-old won 14-5 last season with a 3.69 ERA, leading the Yanks to victories in 19 of his 27 starts. Sabathia also remarkably in the regular season went 9-0 with a 1.71 ERA in 10 starts following a Yankees loss. For more on these stories and complete hot stove activity, Keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.